Hello, everyone. So you can see uh, there is a question right now. So let's read it out. The maximum kinetic energy of photoelectrons emitted is doubled when the wavelength of light incident on the photosensitive surface changes from lambda 1 to lambda 2. Deduce expression for the threshold wavelength and work function for the metal surface in terms of lambda 1 and lambda 2. As you can notice that this question is from uh, chapter number 11 of dual nature of radiation and metal. And uh, you must have seen the keywords like maximum kinetic energy. Uh, there are keywords like uh, work function, threshold wavelength, and uh, wavelength of incident light. So you must got the idea that this question will be using Einstein photoelectric equation. So what is Einstein photoelectric equation? Let me write down the Einstein. According to the Einstein photoelectric equation, the maximum kinetic energy of the photon sorry, maximum kinetic energy of the electron, not the photon, is equals to h nu minus h nu naught, right? Where h nu naught is actually the work function. So we can write down w naught. You can also use the symbol phi naught. That's totally up to you. So k max is equals to h nu minus w naught. So there is one more thing I have to write down in uh, this h nu in terms of wavelength naught frequency. So let me write down h c by lambda minus w naught is basically the k-max. So this is the Einstein photoelectric equation in terms of what we are given. So for the case number one, as you can see, there are basically two cases. In the case number one, the kinetic energy is basically the k and hc by lambda one minus w naught. This is the first equation. In case number two, they are saying the kinetic energy become twice if I replace the incident wavelength lambda one with the lambda two. So I'm going to write it down like that minus w naught. This is second equation. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide equation number two by equation number first. Let's divide equation number two by equation number first. So it will be 2k upon k equals to hc upon lambda two minus w naught divided by hc upon lambda one minus w naught, right? As you can see, k cancel out. Now do the cross multiplication. It will become hc upon lambda one minus w naught equals to hc upon lambda two minus w naught. So I'm going to multiply two throughout. 2 hc upon lambda 1 minus 2 times of omega, sorry, that's not omega, my mistake. This is w naught, which is called the work function. hc upon lambda 2 minus w naught. So I am going to move hc upon lambda 2 on the one side and w naught on the other side. So let's do it. 2 hc upon lambda 1 minus hc upon lambda 2 equals to uh, minus w naught plus 2 omega w naught not omega okay let's do it so as you can see after solving we can also take hc common so it will be 2 upon lambda 1 minus uh, 1 upon lambda 2 equals to w naught because it will cancel out as you can see we can take the lcm so it will be 2 times of lambda 2 minus lambda 1 upon lambda 1 lambda 2 equals to w naught right so as you can see, we have to find out the expression for the work function and it is quite in front of us. So let me write down properly. W naught is equals to HC 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1 upon lambda 1 lambda 2. So this is actually the expression for the work function. But the question doesn't end here. We also have to move forward. Let me first of all put it in the box. So this is the first thing that we have to find out. Now the next one, we have to find out the ex. Uh, Threshold wavelength, right? Yes, they have written it, threshold wavelength. We also have to find out the threshold wavelength. So you know that W net can be written as H C by lambda naught. Remember, threshold wavelength is H uh, lambda naught. So we have to find out lambda naught. Let me write down it first of all like this. H C got cancelled out with H C. Now we have to reciprocate a little bit. So it will become lambda 1, lambda 2 upon 2 lambda 2 minus lambda 1. So this is the expression for threshold threshold wavelength. This is the second expression. And these are the things that we have to derive or deduce. So that's in front of you. I hope you got it. Thank you very much.